Hello student, in the last class we learned about quad light. Quad light used to create illumination in a closed area. But if you want to create a direct sunlight effect that's coming through a window. In Arnold, two light can create this type of effect. First is spotlight and second is distant light. First I create a spotlight in this scene and learn these parameter of this light. I create this light from the top viewport and then right click to exit this tool light is created go to modify section and change the target distance i set 25 feet and enter and uncheck the targeted i already create a point helper to proper position of this light first i show this this green plus sign is point helper i align this spotlight to point helper i click on align tool and then click on this point helper tool and aligns to x y and z center to center for rotation enable x y z orientation then click on apply button and then hit on ok button light is properly aligned now click on render setup button enable active shade mode in the target and lock this perspective viewport or camera render mode and lock this then hit on the render button now set intensity and exposure value i increase intensity up to 4 and exposure value up to 14 A spotlight cone is visible in active shade window now we discuss about this light parameter first parameter is cone angle and it's set to 60 degree if you decrease cone angle size, this spot area will also decrease. I show you. If you set this on 40 degree, spot size is very small. And if you set this 70 degree, cone angle has big size and edges of this light spot is smooth. If you want to increase sharpness, you can increase pen number value. It's set on 5. If I decrease to 1, you get a sharp edge. I set this on 4. If you want to show this light is coming from this window and creating light beam on this surface, you need a rectangular beam on this surface. So you can control this roundness by using roundness value. By default, is set on 1. If I reduce this, you get a rectangular form on this edge now i zoom little bit and show the shadow of this window these are very dense because radius value is one if you want to create a soft shadow here you have to increase radius value i increase up to 14 or 18 i choose 18 and create a reason render here i click on view and choose reason and move this hanger at this position and you can also increase by using these points and then hit on render button in region mode you cannot zoom this window so i set this again on view and zoom with the higher value of radius shadow is soft now these are all parameter of spotlight now i create distant light and show you the parameter of distant light I turn off this light and create a new light. Distant light work like a directional light. So I create from outside and then place here and set the target distance 30 feet. Uncheck targeted. I also create a point helper to place this light. First I enable this and then click on align tool and align this to X, Y, Z position and xyz orientation also apply and ok now change spotlight to distant light and then hit on the render button intensity and exposure value is very high so we have to decrease the exposure value i set exposure on 8 and intensity on 1 exposure value is still high so I set on 4. Okay, now it's look better. 
distant light create a beam on surface with the window frame shadow also if you want to reduce the sharpness of the shadow you can control by using angle value currently angle value is set on 0.5 if you increase this value you get a smooth shadow i set this on 5 shadow is very smooth now i render this scene with three different angle values with the production render settings and then show you i hope you learned uses of spotlight and distant light now we meet in next class. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe my channel and like this video.